This is Larry Jordan. This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at masks inside Premier Pro CC and Final Cut Pro 10. In this excerpt, we're going to look at two specialized masks inside Final Cut, the graduated mask and the vignette mask. Let's take a look at another version. This is the graduated mask. That also is inside the mask category under graduated mask. Look at the clouds that we have here. They're not bad. Actually, they're kind of good, but I want more dramatic clouds. I want a bluer sky. So I'm going to grab the graduated mask. And now I have combined two images, this image and this image, except the mask is there. I want, well, let's just show you how this works. Let's turn this bottom image back on. Notice I have two images stacked. The foreground is always on top. The background is always on the bottom except my barn disappeared. Well, that's where these two targets go. If I grab the target, grab one of the targets, and drag it around, I can change which is in the front and which is in the back. So this, this represents the dividing line between the mask. And I can change the dividing line by dragging the target. I want to put it just above the top of the, of the barn, drag this one down a bit, feather it out a bit more, and look at what we've just done. I've taken the clouds from the bottom and combined it with the barn on the top to create a much more visually interesting sky. A graduated mask allows me to blend images based upon where I drag these targets. And that's what the setting does over here. And we can blend it a little bit more by just adjusting the slider. In this case, I want to make sure the barn is not blended too far. I don't want to have clouds on the edge of the barn. So the shape mask gives me everything I can do with trim, with more control. The graduated mask allows me to blend two images together. Another is a vignette mask. What a vignette does is it normally adds a little bit of a darkening around the edges. Think wedding photographs. It makes things seem a bit more romantic. Well, that's when I add black around the edges. When I have a vignette mask, I can add anything I want around the edges. Select our clip, go down to where it says vignette mask, drag it on. Whoa, look at that. This is definitely something which highlights just how powerful or fast or new that particular jet is. Grab the center drag it in. Let's move our position up just a little bit. Right about there. Look at that. And as our jet is flying around, we've got, we're clearly saying this is really cool technology. We can adjust feathering. Uh, the easiest way to do that is grab this slider. Adjust the feathering change the position by grabbing the white dot or going over to where it says center. Size determines the size of the inner circle. Fall off is the outer circle. And because this is not black, because it's transparent, I added the rays background, which ships in the background category inside Final Cut. So trim and crop work great, built into every clip, but they have limited settings. Shape gives us a much more um, nuanced uh, control in terms of what we're creating, and graduated and vignette give us special effects. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at masks inside Premiere Pro CC and Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for webinars 195A and 195B. By the way, if you need to stretch your training dollars, a membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,400 movies, hundreds of hours, all in depth and all up to date. Our training covers a variety of software and technologies. We add new training several times a month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.